but my biggest winner. There was a team that traveled all the way to the Bay Area. Oh. All I heard, all I heard <laughs> was why you be how why how would you have them as winners when you I'm picked about up to the tell win? you why I'm about to tell you why <laughs> because all I heard was Brock Purdy is elite. That was an elite performance. That's the guy you were telling me about. <laughs> but here's the thing. Okay, Debo goes down. You understand? You goes down. But we're not going to give him a pass. Not against Kansas City. Oh, no, because Kansas City is down a lot of people right now. A lot of people. Kareem Hunt didn't start on this team. Kareem Hunt got picked up off the waiver wire and joined this roster. Dude, Travis Kelsey, I think he caught, what, two passes in that game? No, Two? I think he caught more than that. Oh, Travis Kelsey didn't have no good game. <laughs> Travis I Kelsey, look right now. You gonna make me pull his stats up? Travis Kelsey wasn't balling like that. We not. I never that. said. He, I never said he was balling like that. I oh, he definitely. I'm about to pull it up. You don't have to worry. And I no, I'm not gonna ever bring my computer. With he me had four computer. receptions for 17 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Four receptions for 17 yards. So Travis Kelsey didn't play well. Patrick Mahomes threw two interceptions and threw for 154 yards. You know what happened, Keo? They still beat the 49ers in San Francisco. No touchdowns by Patrick Mahomes. I'll, 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 I'll tell you why, but go ahead. And okay, but this, this is my thing. San Francisco, you're at home. You say that, you know, you 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 want to get Patrick Mahomes back for losing, you know, they lost the Super Bowl and whatnot. That's all good. You got Brock Purdy, who I hear every week on this show and on every show. Not has, every week. <laughs> how elite this guy is. How he's the best player on the 49ers team. And he can make me and Keo look like Chris Carter and Randy Moss because he's that good. And yet. And yet, I want to pull this up. Brock Purdy goes 17 for 31, 212 yards, no touchdowns, zero, and three interceptions. That I, I, I'm not, I want, like, I knew that, Jeff, but I wanted to make yeah, sure. Yeah, you were waiting, you were waiting, <laughs> you were waiting for Purdy to have a bad game. To, <laughs> listen, to, listen, to, listen. To, I knew the stats, but I wanted you to see me turn and look at my computer so you couldn't say anything about, oh, you just saying stuff. No, I wanted to be clear. This is my thing. The Chiefs, that's how good they are. And people always want to say Patrick Mahomes this. Patrick Mahomes leads the league. In interceptions right now. Leads the league in interceptions. Patrick Mahomes has not played good at all this year as far as statistically. Travis Kelsey's been definitely below average. And I'm not, I'm below, I'm not even saying below good, below average. Four catches, 17 yards is not it. And yet, Andy Reid and this team is the only team undefeated. And they went into a situation where a team had you know, everything, everything to win in this game. They wanted to beat the Chiefs. They, I mean, everybody wants to win every week, but we understand it's a little bit more personal because <laughs> you lost them in the Super Bowl, and yet you still couldn't get it done. There was no Hollywood Brown, no Joe Juju Smith-Schuster, who had a good game the previous game. Oh, uh, uh, no Rasheed Rice. Travis Kelsey had 17 yards. You had no Pachenko. And yet, you still couldn't beat Patrick Mahomes in your backyard. Let's not like Kareem Hunt was not. Hey, hey, you can stop Kareem Hunt. Oh, Kareem Hunt. It was Kareem, you act like Kareem Hunt is a scrub. I never call him a scrub. I'm just saying. I, I mean, it's the Niners. But yeah, for real, the biggest winner for me is the Chiefs because if you would have said they would be undefeated. At this point, the only team undefeated, nobody would have a problem with that. And you would have a problem if I said there would be undefeated, no Pacheco, no Rasheed Rice. They would go into San Francisco, beat the Niners, and Patrick Mahomes would have the most interceptions in the NFL today. 
you'll be like, there's no way they're undefeated. And yet, here we sit. And they're undefeated. And the only team undefeated. So I want to give them their flowers because they are the biggest winner right now. All right, man. My biggest <laughs> losers. You, My biggest losers. You damn right it's the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> they are my biggest losers, man. I never... I never scrutinize Brock Purdy ever. This is the only time I'm going to do it. <laughs> this is all on him. There this you is go. his fault. You know, I have, you know, I, I, you know, as much as I hold, you know, Josh Allen and Dak accountable, I got to hold Brock Purdy accountable. He lost, I kind of feel like he lost the Niners this game. If I had, if you had to, if you ask me, who do you blame losing the game? I blame it on Brock Purdy. You cannot turn the ball over in the red zone like that, man. Three interceptions in the red zone. That's real that's unacceptable. You they put he, you know, he he did put his team in position to in the red zone, but you just cannot turn the ball over. And I I and I put the blame on him. Some of the throws he made, I'm like. Damn, you throwing in double coverage. You're forcing these throws right now. And that that's just not acceptable at all. And then on top of that, you lose Debo Samuel. You also lose um you also lose Brandon Ayuk for the rest of the season, also. And this team, oh man, it ain't looking good, man. Um, you know, as much as I defend Brock Purdy, man, if I think he he's the quarterback that he I think he is. Then I think I think he'll he's I think he will do what he's supposed to do. If I think he's that type of quarterback that I think he is, if if it comes to Brock Purdy, and then the Niners lose at home also, and guess what? You know who the Niners are playing against this upcoming weekend. <laughs> The, the, the Dallas Cowboys. Oh no, the Dallas Cowboys. They're playing the Dallas Cowboys this weekend, Sunday night. Oh, it was, that's not that's not the worst thing. I mean, Dallas is coming off of a bye, but, but if they were playing Baltimore, but, I'd be like, oh god. But guess they might what? Get <laughs> I the way the Cowboys was playing, I'm like, okay, I might take the Niners, but now I'm I'm t- I I like Dallas because. The Niners are banged up. The Cowboys are getting healthy. You got Micah Parsons coming back this weekend. You got uh, Kendricks coming back this this uh, this game. You got Deron Bland coming back in this game also. So, uh, I I the Niners do have the Cowboys number, but they, this might end this weekend. And I don't like the Niners chances right now, especially both of your starting wide receivers are out right now. And um, I think this could definitely hurt them. And somebody got to step up in this game. And I know this game is going to be really exciting and looking forward to. But I got the Niners as my losers right now. Um, that was just that was just bad. Um, like I said, the Niners had a chance to win this game. The game was very – it was a low-scoring game. Both quarters were, were, were uh, doing bad, but it was just – the Chiefs made the plays that was necessary, needed to make for them to uh, to win this game. And the Niners just did not take advantage of the game. It, it wasn't like the Chiefs dominated this game. It was just the Niners. They made a lot of crucial mental mistakes from the special teams on the offensive side also. Um, and they gave them some big plays also. And, and that, that was the whole reason behind it. Um, 